Hello, welcome, I'm Devil Sniper and this is the Super League Career Mode Season number two for Saving Sam Doria. So of recent episodes we have really struggled to pick up points, to score goals and we're going back to basics. We need to start accelerating, start building up a momentum to take us into the second part of the season in a positive standing. At this moment in time, it's just not happening. We, we're really desperate to pick up some points. And we have a very hard home game against Vasco da Gama. They have a very powerful side. And as you'll see from the league table, at this moment in time, the division is so competitive. We need really, really need to start building upon our games that we have. And as I say, against Vasco da Gama, you're going in against a very solid side, a very well-organized side. But, you know, we're going to take a risk. We're going with the 4-3-3 in attacking we're going to be playing Dennis de Mehnes in the cam. We're going to be relying on Victor Wanyama and Polly to be doing a magnificent holding job and distributing the ball because Polly is probably one of the best distributors of the ball in the actual game. And early doors, Akadi is doing exactly what I wanted him to do. Cause an absolute pain in Vasco da Gama's arse. Creating space for himself, pulling off a shot. Great save from the Vasco da Gama goalkeeper, forcing him into a save. Not missing the target. We have to force their keeper to make a save. Wanyama with the cross. Diego Rios with the scripted corner that we've been working on for such a long time on a, on a training ground. Finally goes right for us as he heads it home into the top corner. But as I said, Vasco da Gama are a very solid side. A very well organised side. And you can't allow them to have opportunities. Diego Rios with a bit of a poor header. And thankfully the follow-up shot is very weak and off target and didn't cause us too many problems. But again, Akadi causing so many problems, knocking it in and joining in the play with Maxi Clayton, who is playing so well. Tries to fire the ball over the top. Unfortunately, Akadi's strength is not in the air. If the ball was on the ground, it might be a different kettle of fish. But Marcelo on the left wing, cutting inside. Victor Wanyama trying to get in his way. Pulls off a great shot. Takes a deflection off the Forrest Gump defender. A bit of a buttock ricochet. Keeper forced to make a save. Puts it onto the post. Gathers the ball up. And unfortunately, just would not go into go in the goal for us. But we went in at half time, winning 1 0 through the Diego Rios goal after eight minutes. And we had a positive feeling that we could score more goals. We had dominated the first half with possession. We had dominated the first half with great football, something we haven't played for a long, long time. And you could feel that Vasco da Gama were like a scorpion. Their tail was up. They came out all guns blazing in the second half. A really poor defensive clearance. I have no idea why he didn't head to that clear. Why he had to go for the audacious and uncultured volley out as a defender, especially when you're jumping in the air. But Riley knocked the ball into Sun. Sun on the right wing, come on for Maxi Clayton. Tries to create that bit of extra pace to get away from his defender. Manages to do it. Breezes past him, cuts onto his left foot, fires the shot in. Takes an audacious deflection off the defender and goes in at the near post to give us a 2-0 lead after 67 minutes. And you can sense the relief, not only around the stadium, but from the players. To get a two-goal lead is something we haven't done for a long time. But when you're at your most vulnerable, it's when you've just scored. As Vasco da Gama prove after 75 minutes with a very simple cross and a very basic header. Very poor defending, unfortunately, from our good selves. Something we need to work on again. But Sun, who had come on for Maxi Clayton, was just literally causing so many problems in the 90th minute. Cuts inside onto his left foot, fires the shot. The one mistake the Vasco da Gama goalkeeper made was parrying the ball out. Apart from that, he was magnificent. He parried it out to Marcelo, and Marcelo is not going to miss a gift like that. So after 90 minutes, the full-time whistle had gone. Sampdoria 3, Vasco da Gama 1. We had finally turned a corner. We had scored three goals in the game, and we had gained three very much needed points to make the season positive, and I'm not going to risk him. I am not going to do it. He barely played for us, and he was out for such a long time. I can't afford to risk him. Cue the dramatic music, because this story just won't go away. Can't beat dramatised music. 
Pedro, I don't know where this speculation all comes from, to be honest. I haven't spoken to anyone in the press. Of course, it's not always easy to fit into a new club. But I'm working hard to feel more settled. The guys have been great to me so far. The fans seem to like me. There's no real excuses for me. Not to eventually feel at home. But no, it's not easy. And I agree, Pedro. Think of me. Filippo Gabs. I've come into this club. I've only been here a season and a, and, a, and a matter of games. I know how difficult it is. But together, we can lead this club to glory. But first, we have to take on an extremely strong Galatasaray side who have scored nine goals in their last three games and only had the audacity to concede one. It doesn't look good. Because they are dominating League One, Super League One, like they dominated Super League Two in unstoppable fashion. Look at the table. It's still so, so close. Galatasaray are now starting to open up a lead over Valencia and a big lead over ourselves. The dream of winning a title is so distant. Hopefully next season, if we make it into a championship, we can really put our foot down and go for a title. But I'll just be happy to get to the Superliga Premier, which I think everybody will be happy with, to get there and fight with the real big boys and see what our team is really made of. But as you can see, Early doors, Sampdoria are playing the cultured, creative football. We knock the ball into Castanos. He feeds it off to Vilhena. Vilhena tries to cross it to the back post. I have no idea why he didn't go for the shot, but the ball comes to Sun, and the one thing he doesn't think about is shooting. He just pulls the trigger when he wants, if he wants, how he wants, all day long. But Galatasaray playing counter attacking football. Break on us with Ilmas, and he pulls it just wide of the post, which was. Unbelievable. And the first half was just not very exciting. Galatasaray just defended so, so well. With such vast numbers behind the ball. Always making us do the running. As you can see with Poli, creative as he is. Breaks past three Galatasaray players. Nearly past the fourth. Pulled the trigger and just puts it wide of the post. If that had gone in, it would have been goal of the season for me. Because he made three Galatasaray players look complete and utter mugs. Vilhena has a shot, great save again by the Galatasaray keeper, but our defending was very, very stout. We defended with some class, with some organisation for once. Riley on the right-hand side, interlinking so well with Sun, who's been an absolute revelation since come to the club. Knocks it inside, Wanyama knocking it onto Bakhrov. Bakhrov trying to create some space, trying to bring players into the game. He does it with Castanos. Castanos himself trying to create some space. But look at Polly sitting in that danger zone, sitting in that dangerous hole, tries to pull off a great shot. Unfortunately, as normal Galatasaray defender is there to block the ball. And we come away with a nil-nil draw. Now, normally I would be very disappointed, but when you just drew nil-nil with probably the most unstoppable team in the division, you have to be happy. You have to be. You just have to be. And no, I'm not bloody risking him. So it's more like a night.